12th under the unit 5th is recombinant DNA technology. And this is the basic of biotech. More importantly, this chapter you will study, you will also study in class 12th biology with heavy weightage. So, we have to deal it carefully. Recombinant DNA technology, as the name suggests, recombinant means we are recombining something and what is that something? That something is DNA. And as we know that DNA is a genetic material and whole of our biotechnology revolves around this world that is DNA. And in this, we are recombining this DNA. Recombinant DNA technology is also known as gene cloning. So, again a revision. What is a gene? A gene is a functional segment of DNA. And what is cloning? Cloning is copy, exact copy label. So, here what is our concept? We are cloning a particular segment of gene of our interest. So, now we will move to the steps of this recombinant DNA technology. And before moving to the steps of DNA technology, uh, we should revise uh, what we have already studied that what we have nowadays as a result of recombinant DNA technology. Have you remembered that Bt cotton? Yes, Bt cotton, which is a insect resistant plant or the bacteria that eats means pseudomonas. We have also engineered it to form a superbird that will clear the oil. And these are few of the resultants of the recombinant DNA technology. Nowadays, we have a lot of benefits of recombinant DNA technology as the production of insulin. Now the question arises, these are the results, but how does these results came into the existence? And for this, we should came to know about the steps of the recombinant DNA technology. First step. The first step of recombinant DNA technology is the isolation of the DNA of our interest, that is G. Means if we want to clone or to produce the copies of insulin, we should isolate the insulin from the particular source and for that particular isolation we should know the particular position of that particular source. After isolating this particular DNA of our interest, the second point is to put it into the cloning vector. And what is this vector? This vector is a carrying recurve. And now when we had insert, the DNA of our insert into the vector, so now this recombinant DNA molecules. Say this is a vector. This vector is to be cleaved at a particular place and 
our gene of interest which we have isolated gene of interest this gene of insert should be put into the vector and this resultant molecule is known as recombinant dna and now the next step is to put this recombinant dna into the host cell means if we want to produce this gene of interest into the bacteria so put the recombinant into host and this process is known as transformation how does this take place say we took a copy a large number of the host in which we have to put the recombinant dna similarly we take the recombinant dna molecules and these recombinant dna molecules are put into this host and this process is known as transformation these are the transform hosts and now there are a huge possibility that this recombinant dna is not get into the host cell so the next step is the selection and after selecting the particular transform host selection means we will select only those host which are having the factor with our gene of interest and then next is the multiplication means creating the large copies of this dna